Good morning, Ron Steen with another edition of Inside St. Paul. And today we're going to talk about radio ministry. It's Radio Ministry Mission Moment Sunday. And I'm Pam Nicholson. And I'm Bill Witcher. I'm usually not in these videos, but uh, today is an exception. Okay. Um, I'm curious about some things. This is a 60 minutes interview. <laughs> okay. Uh, Pam, whatever motivated you to get started in the radio ministry? Well, I was at, um, just at a regular church service one day and Ron had done a mission moment talking about radio ministry and that um, he, he needed a little help to make up a committee. I knew that my parents, who actually live in, lived in Collinsville, uh, listened to the radio. So I thought, well, I could probably put in a little time to help Ron keep that radio ministry going. So that was my, uh, that was my interest. Oh, super. Was and to, Ron, how about you? Well, my interest was that in 2002 and three, my dad was sick with leukemia, and so they didn't make it to church as much that year, but they listened faithfully to the radio. And in 2006, my mom started to get sick, and she listened to the radio faithfully. But at the end of 2006, the radio station was sold, and we didn't have radio ministry for six months here at St. Paul. Uh, the radio station uh, changed their programming and cut out religious programs. And I made a commitment to my mom that I would find a new radio station and raise the money so that she could listen to it on Sunday morning. And I also found out in the church office that there were 75 seniors that were getting worship bulletins every week so they could listen to radio ministry on Sunday. Super. Uh, well, you, you've talked about uh, uh, your mother, who is a member of the church. Pam, you talked about uh, your folks. Uh, they were going to Collinsville, though, that's, weren't they? That's time. correct. Uh -huh. Do you know anybody John. else that watches uh, or listens to the uh, radio broadcast outside of St. Paul Church? Well, uh, Gloria Sherlin has a sister named Elaine, and she lives in Smithton, and she goes to the UCC church in Smithton. And when she doesn't make it, she listens to our church service because uh, the church in Smithton doesn't have that for their congregation. So this is really a uh, ministry not only to our members, but to the wider community as well. Yes, absolutely. Oh, it, that, that is super. Well, it's not free, is it? Well, no. <laughs> How much does it no, cost? No, it's not free. It usually costs us um, to do a weekly church service. It usually costs us two hundred and seventy-nine dollars for the for the week. How much is and that a year? It roughly comes out to fourteen thousand five hundred dollars, and we're really grateful to the congregation for their continued support of radio ministry that's sixty-five years old. Exactly what date did it start? Do you, do you recall, Ron? Yes. Uh, back in uh, 1948, the St. Paul congregation realized there was a need for radio ministry and that, that they had quite a few shut-ins and people in hospitals that were physically unable to come on a given Sunday. And today that need hadn't changed. At that time, the radio station was WIBV which of course is not in our area anymore. So we use um, KSTL 690, it's on AM. And that's our um, station that we use to broadcast. Although we don't broadcast live. Well, when, when suppose that somebody wants to see or to listen to the, uh, to the service, uh, when would they turn into KSTL? Well, they would tune in to 690 KSTL at uh, 1030 for a tape delay. So the nine, nine o'clock service is then um, delayed and shown at 1030. And then it's also showed again at um, the evening time. I don't have that. Nine, nine, 9, nine p.m. 9 p.m., I'm sorry. 9 p.m. at the evening time on those Sundays as well. Okay, returning to the uh, cost of the service. Um, 
I've heard I've heard rumors around the church that there's some sort of a club. Can <laughs> can you elucidate and tell me more about that? Well, yes, it's a very exclusive club. Of, of course, we would let anybody in. Uh, we call it the 6020 club. That's because if we can um, encourage 60 people a month to donate $20 to radio ministry every month, then we will meet our budget quota of what we need to keep radio running for the $14,500 a year. Super, super. Oh, let's see now. Um, we've been doing this for quite a while. I've been involved and uh, I'm sure that there are some favorite moments. What, uh, Ron, what's your favorite moment? Well, we've done at least a half a dozen, you know, videos, which I'm grateful for your, your help. Uh, we reach out and touch someone. That was a theme to let the radio ministry reach the community. Uh, we did one at the Memorial Hospital because we were instrumental in building the hospital. Uh, the uh, announcers up there at one time talked about um, uh, why they were doing radio ministry from their heart, you know. But my favorite has to be when you and I, Bill, went out to the three homes to our seniors that listen faithfully every week, that they want to stay connected to God and to the church. And they were just so grateful to share their, their message with us. Bill, I have a question for you. What's yeah. your favorite? Okay. Um, you know, I've been, like I've said before, I've been involved in these all along. And uh, the portion that really touched me, and I don't need, mean to be singing like the choir, so what I'm going to say is very similar to what you just said, Ron. When we went out to interview the seniors, oh my gosh, the radio ministry means so much to them. Uh, we, have, uh, we have seniors that faithfully listen to the radio ministry. They faithfully send their offering in every Sunday they are indeed part of the congregation. And without the radio ministry, they simply would not be in touch. For entertainment value though, I thought that the Sunday that Norbert uh, did turn, on your, turn your radio on was just incredible. Pam, how about you? I have to agree with that last one too. I really like uh, the music in church. I think it, it really um, can rev up rev up the service and uh, in my mood probably as well when you come in on Sunday it's nice to have something that takes you into the week ahead and I really appreciated the turned on turned your radio on uh, day when we did that music and the the Norbert and his crew got it the song done for us well everybody likes turn your radio on so let's listen to Andy Griffith now uh, singing turn your radio on get closer to God <laughs> 